to nine felony counts. Prosecutors say he committed the crime knowing he was HIV positive. Bail was set at 41-year-old Joseph Kenneth Cornett was arrested last week trying to get away, according to investigators. He's accused of posing as a police officer, arresting a high school student for jaywalking. He then allegedly brought her here to these abandoned portable classrooms and assaulted her. Witnesses say the victim managed to get away and approached a parent leaving the school at Lancaster Baptist Church across the street. The girl approached the car, explained that she had been attacked. At that same time, the uh, assailant was coming across the road as well. Church employee Ben Hobbs came out of his office to help. We're seeing just this, this guy heading toward back toward those modular buildings trying to get away, basically. Hobbs says the man made it to his car despite several good Samaritans trying to stop him. But his car got stuck in the sand, and he was unable to drive away before deputies arrived. He had to be taken away in restraints and a mask because deputies say he tried to spit at them. How he ended up where he ended up, I don't know, uh, other than that's uh, just... God's hand, I think. Court records show Cornette was on probation at the time of his arrest. He has passed convictions for embezzlement and DUI. Church officials say these mobile classrooms were dumped here several months ago without warning and that they've been working with the county to try to get them removed because they worried that something like this would happen. In Lancaster, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News. Developing news now, an Anaheim couple is missing after making a Mother's Day stop at the Valley View Casino in Valley Center. The Sheriff's Department says Cecil Knutson and Diana Bedwell left the casino around 2 p.m. yesterday. They planned on visiting their son's home in La Quinta, but never made it. They also did not return to their home in Anaheim. Knutson and Bedwell are believed to be traveling in a white 2014 Hyundai Sonata with the California license plate 7 e h e 981 If you've seen them, please call the San Diego Sheriff's Department. A commuter jet made an impressive emergency landing at LAX this morning. That was 5316, what do you speed of 180? Is it your left gear or right gear? Speed 180, it's going to be the left main, left main. The landing gear on United Express Flight 5316 didn't fully extend. And you can see a trail of dust streaking across the runway as the left wing scraped the ground and then sparks shoot from the tip of the wing. Moments after the plane came to a stop, passengers and crew all got off safely. This is what was amazing about the pilot was it was an incredibly smooth landing. I would say it was actually smoother than some of the landings that I've had with all of the landing gear down. The flight operated by SkyWest had taken off from Monterey. No one was injured today. Well, tonight, some tough questions for LAPD Police Chief Charlie Beck. It's been a controversial week for the department as it looks into a struggle with officers that led to the shooting death of an unarmed homeless man in Venice. The chief agreed to sit down with me today at LAPD headquarters. I'm not the kind of chief that that is going to sugarcoat a, a, an incident to the public. I, I let the public know what I think. Today, I asked Police Chief Beck if he regretted the statement he made regarding the officer-involved shooting of unarmed homeless man Brendan Glenn in Venice Beach last week. It takes an extreme set of circumstances uh, for a Los Angeles police officer to become involved in a shooting with an unarmed individual. Uh, you know, we, we are... Uh, at this point in the investigation, we don't see those extreme circumstances. So you don't regret saying what you said? No, okay. because it's, it was, I think it was important uh, to not only the organization, uh, but the community that they know the chief of police has concerns with the shooting. Photos at the scene show an officer on crutches. Sources confirm that is the officer involved in the shooting. And while the chief says the officer's name isn't public yet because of safety concerns, he explains why he disclosed the officer's race. Glenn and the officer are both black. Race has become a huge issue nationally in policing. Um, you know, the, every tagline of every story is about the race of the officer and the race of uh, the person that the officer had contact with. Um, I knew that this would be asked, I knew it was going to be part of the story, and I put it forth. We also asked Chief Beck about video of the incident and why it hasn't been released. Uh, there's a number of reasons it's not been released. One is that it is a piece of evidence. It is not the totality of the investigation. It is a, a strong piece of evidence that has to be viewed in the context of the other pieces of evidence. 
And when it comes to an alleged police report leaked this weekend by a community blogger regarding the incident. Are you concerned about a leak in the department, if that's the case, or can you comment on that? Well, you know, I'm always concerned about uh, about information uh, that shouldn't be in the public until it's been uh, until it's been properly vetted uh, going out. Now, the two officers are assigned at home with pay while the investigation continues. My conversation with the chief continues tonight on CBS 2 News at 11, including a key question. Why didn't he attend an important community event at Venice after the shooting? That's tonight on CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. L.A. County has released its latest homeless count, and the news is not good. The study shows the number of homeless people has jumped by 16 percent over the past two years. The Los Angeles Homeless Services conducts the survey every other year. The agency found more than 41,000 homeless people in L.A. County. The count does not include the cities of Glendale, Pasadena, or Long Beach. In the city of Watts, there's a monument dedicated to families and individuals who've died there. The Wall of Remembrance stands on 109th Street near Central Avenue. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo went to Watts to see their daily reminder of loved ones gone, but not forgotten. He was murdered getting off the school bus. This wall lists hundreds of names. Yeah, shot. And tells hundreds of stories. Him and his brother got a toy. Behind each calligraphied letter is a family in Watts. Their names lovingly added. These are just recent deaths. By Hank Henderson, the wall's caretaker for the housing authority. We started this in 1983, I believe it was. It was a turbulent time in the Nickerson Gardens Public Housing Project, and the first names on the wall at the rec center were those who died in gang violence. But now loved ones can add any name. Powerful, and, and it sends that message that, that it is community. So powerful, it's never seen a scratch of graffiti. No one dares lean on it either. This is our monument, because if you grew up over here, and one of your loved ones passed, pretty much they'll be on this wall too. Eddie Williams comes to remember his brother. Donnie Jubert remembers. My mother's name is here. Both are moved others remember them too. It kind of brings a tear to my eye. I mean, I'm a big old guy. I mean, I tear up too. So, you know, because he was a good dude. That's my oldest son. Henderson will tell you he's put up the names of a lot of good dudes. I didn't want to see my son go before I did, you know. And that's it's kind of heartbreaking. Now his son's name is on a memorial that unites a community with this reminder. Our pain is the same. We would love to see the walls stop growing, but, uh, you know, things happen. In Watts, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. Well, they drive nice cars and live in nice homes, so why are taxpayers picking up the tab for dozens of doctors and their hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans? CBS 2's David Goldstein is here now with details. David. Well, Pat, we're talking about more than $100 million in all owed to the U.S. government for these student loans. They were issued to doctors, and now taxpayers are being stuck with the bill. Porsche SUV. Dentist Robert Hansen drives a Porsche. Beautiful house. From Sky 2, you see the house where he lives in Pasadena, valued at two and a half million dollars. But Hansen defaulted on his student loan, so taxpayers had to foot the bill. Doctor, you still owe three hundred. You still owe three hundred. Don't, don't touch property. me, sir. Well, tonight on CBS 2 News at 11, see which doctors are some of the worst offenders in the Southland and what happens when we found one of the doctors the feds couldn't. It's all tonight on CBS 2 News at 11 after a new NCIS LA. Pat, back to you. All right. Thank you, David. Well, Tom Brady gets suspended over deflate gate ahead in sports. Details of his punishment and the big fine his team will have to pay. Plus, we're continuing to follow breaking news out of El Monte. We'll return with a live report. And a salary increase, how much Governor Brown and other elected officials will make with their bump in pay. And it's a beautiful start to the work week. However, we've got some big changes, cooler weather and wet weather headed our way. I'll have more on the rest of the work week forecast coming up. Then tonight on CBS 2 News at 11, a new initiative to end alimony. Why a local man says the current system harms families. Plus, protecting your credit card information at bars. The new technology that could keep that night out from coming back to haunt you. That's tonight after NCIS Los Angeles. CBS 2 News is sponsored by Caltrans. Be work zone alert when driving near Caltrans work zones. He taught me how to ride my bike. 
He's the coach for my baseball team. They help me with my math homework. He holds my hand while we watch scary movies. Because the things he does helps all, all of us. us. Be alert, our parents are at work. Cirque du Soleil is back with a world of curiosities where reality is relative and seeing is disbelieving. Curious Cabinet of Curiosities from Cirque du Soleil presented by Visa Signature with United Mileage Plus. Enjoy this new production under the big top starting October 15th in Costa Mesa and December 10th in Los Angeles. Tickets at Cirque du Soleil.com. It is a weak man who urges compromise. The 2015 Cadillac SRX, a crossover with space, safety, and style. Lease it from around $3.39 a month for 24 months. Next Insider. Watch Kim Kardashian's curvy figure inside Hollywood's controversial slim down secret waist training. How far stars go for that hourglass figure. Next Insider. Tonight at 7 on CBS2. Some doctors appear to be living well, but owe hundreds of thousands in student loans. They're not paying, but you, the taxpayer, are. You live in about a million and a half dollar house, but you owe the federal government $100,000. A David Goldstein investigation tonight at 11 on CBS2 News. Returning to that breaking news now, a house fire in El Monte. CBS 2's Stu Mundell joins us live with an update, Stu. Pat Paul, LA County Fire doing a great work getting that fire out. You can see it right now, but let's take a look what Sky 2 saw. When we first arrived here on scene, we have some tape. This house was fully involved in fire. Now, LA County Fire still here on scene. This is a small home. They still are searching to make sure that there was nobody inside this home while it was on fire. Obviously, after they've cleared the house, the next thing will be cost and cause of this fire. Live in Sky 2 over El Monte, I'm Stu Mandel. Pat and Paul, back to you. All right, Stu, thank you. Ahead here on CBS 2 News at 6, how a California university is responding over a final exam that requires students to take off their clothes. Plus, could jet packs become a thing of the past in one Southland city? The move underway to ban the water activity. And the sun was out and the weather was warm, but for how long? Jackie Johnson is coming up next with your first look at the full forecast. Aerial coverage from Sky 2 is brought to you by Stater Brothers, where you always get more for less. I had tried many things before and work a little bit and then I'd be back in the same boat. But when you're 250 pounds, you don't care what you have to do, you'll do it. West Medical changed my life. I definitely couldn't have done it without the procedure that I had. I used the tool and I worked hard to get my weight off. I could not have done it without the availability of my doctors. They were there for me. They gave me the confidence that I needed. Start your new life today. Call 1-800-WESTMED now for your free consultation. 1-800-WESTMED. Wow, Time Warner Cable really upgraded their network. 300 meg internet, clearer picture. I know, we get over 20,000 movies and shows on demand. Our new DVR records six shows at once. I'm so glad we switched from DirecTV. Right? Everything's better. Well, almost everything. We're making things better. See for yourself. Time Warner Cable has up to 300 meg ultra-fast internet. And every Dodgers game all season long on Sportsnet LA. Switch today and you could get a $300 reward card. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC today. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. His past is a mystery. Is he my father? Possibly. But CBS Tonight. He knows more than he's telling me. 
There's nothing this agent won't do. This place is rigged to blow. To uncover the truth. It's all yours, Arcadia. Let's go. Wait, wait! Only two new episodes remain. Don't let the personal get in the way of the professional. Kids! And if they're all wrapped up together? CISLA, CBS Tonight. Who wants to crave and save? Marie Callender's brings you handcrafted meals and amazing deals. The Crave and Save menu, six to nine bucks. Gooey gourmet grilled cheese with bacon. Quiche with a handmade buttery crust. Hearty fish and shrimp plate. Oh yeah, Crave and Save breakfast? Served all day. The new Crave and Save menu. 16 handcrafted meals for just six to nine bucks. And come on in to see which delicious pie is on sale for just $7.99. Closed captioning on CBS2 is sponsored by Empire Today. A final exam at the University of California, San Diego is raising a few eyebrows because it requires students to take off their clothes. The visual art class at UCSD involves students acting out a series of gestures. The very last one they're asked to perform is called erotic self and students must do it while naked. A mother of one of the students who didn't want to be identified isn't amused saying it's just wrong. And to blanketly say you must be naked in order to pass my class it, it makes me sick to my stomach. Ricardo Dominguez is the professor. He spoke by phone defending the class, saying students know from the beginning that this is expected of them. Dominguez says everyone is naked, even himself, in a dark room only lit by candlelight. It's a standard uh, canvas for performance art and body art. Chair of the university's visual arts department says the class is not a requirement for graduation and the school now says students are not required to be nude to pass the final. A panel today approved 3% raises for California Governor Jerry Brown to help statewide elected officials and state lawmakers. The Citizens Compensation Commission approved the salary increases. Governor Brown will now make $179,220. Rank and file lawmakers will make six figure salaries of $100,113, and they're already the nation's best compensated legislators. Well, the Newport Beach City Council is expected to vote tomorrow on an ordinance that would ban the use of water propelled jetpacks in the harbor. The move comes after residents raised concerns about safety and noise. Jetpack America, who has been operating out of Newport Beach for four years, says if the ban is passed, they will have to close up shop and move to another city. Well, there goes my fun. Yeah, really. <laughs> Today would have been a good day for that. Later in the week, mm, not, not so, so much. Good. Nope. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> uh, and yes, you're right, because today was the prettiest day of the weather wor uh, for this work week because we do have some big changes, especially come the end of the week where we've got clouds and rain and cooler temperatures. But in the meantime, why don't we just enjoy this? We're taking a live look outside. There's downtown L.A. on this Monday evening. It was a gorgeous day here in Southern California with temperatures a couple degrees above where we should be this time of year. We had a high of 76, a normal high of 74. Enjoy it while it lasts because we've got a deeper marine layer moving in overnight tonight that'll cool these temperatures down. But what a mild evening temperatures into the 60s and 70s. These are the wind gusts. So again, it's a little bit breezy, especially in the Antelope Valley and the Apple Lucerne Valleys, which will be under wind advisory starting tomorrow, where gusts could pick up to around 45 miles an hour. We do have mostly clear skies, but we've got a strong onshore flow tonight, and that will bring in a deep marine layer tomorrow morning. So clouds from the coast inland can be expected a deeper marine layer tomorrow Tomorrow night will bring us some drizzle by Wednesday morning, and then we are talking about a chance of rain come Thursday into Friday. High pressure getting squeezed out as a couple troughs of low pressure move in. Not only do we expect rain with it, but much like last week on Thursday and Friday, a chance of thunderstorms and lowering snow levels. So it's a cold storm system, and again, much like we had last week. Uh, speaking of storm systems, a dangerous night from the Great Lakes all the way down into the Gulf Coast, where we've got another round of severe weather. Take a look at all 
the watches and warnings that have already been posted as the system pushes to the east. All right, here at home, our extended forecast starting to change. We've got temperatures into the 60s and 70s and then cooling down with the chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday, slowly clearing up for the weekend. Pat and Paul, back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. Now there's more local news coming your way in about 90 minutes. Yeah, Susie Sud joins us now with a preview. Susie. Paul and Pat, thank you so much. Tonight on KCAL 9 News at 8, what's the key to better health? Well, some doctors say it's as simple as getting a dog. We'll explain at 8. Also, this California water park says it can let the water flow and barely waste any of it thanks to a new tool. You'll see how it works. Well, those stories and much more all tonight on KCAL 9 News at 8. All right, Susie, <laughs> thank you. Showing gratitude why a group of sheriff's deputies from Chino Hills were saying thank you to some local students. I'm Jim Hill. Coming up in sports, we'll have more on the Tom Brady suspension, including some strong words from his agent. And we'll also check in with the Clippers ahead of tomorrow's potential series clincher against the Houston Rockets in Houston. That and more is next in sports. Come in for a free Merle Norman service. You'll get glowing skin, find the right foundation, and learn how to apply the latest shades. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Your gift with the purchase of two or more Merle Norman cosmetic products. I love your old gray missions. Love your vineyards stretching far. I love you, California, with your golden gate ajar. I love you. Get $1,000 trade in bonus cash on the purchase of a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Latitude during the Jeep Memorial Day event. Well qualified current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low mileage lease on Cherokee Latitude front wheel drive for $199 a month. The legend continues with Neil Diamond. May 19th and Saturday, May 23rd at Hollywood Bowl. An incredible night live with all those Neil Diamond favorites. Tickets are on sale now at all Ticketmaster Ticket Centers, Ticketmaster.com, or charge by phone at 800 745 3000. Neil Diamond. His new album, Melody Road, available now. It took Tim Morehouse years to master the perfect lunge. Yes! But only one attempt to master depositing checks at Chase ATMs. Technology designed for you, so you can easily master the way you bank. Right now, Verizon is offering unlimited talk and text, plus 10 gigs of shareable data. Yeah, 10 gigantic gigs for $80 a month and $15 per line. More data than ever for more of what you want on the network that's number one in speed, call, data, and reliability. So you never have to settle. Now also get $300 or more when you trade in your smartphone and buy a new one. Stop by or visit us online and save without settling. Only on Verizon. Come in for a free Merle Norman service. You'll get glowing skin, find the right foundation, and learn how to apply the latest shades. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Your gift with the purchase of two or more Merle Norman cosmetic products. Coming up, deadly tornadoes and storms rip apart small towns in the heart of America. Plus, Patriots star quarterback Tom Brady is hit with penalties for cheating. Details coming up on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. We begin sports this evening with some huge news out of the NFL. New England Patriot quarterback Tom Brady has been suspended four games without pay for his role in deflating footballs in January's AFC Championship game against the Indianapolis Colts. The Patriots were fined $1 million. That's the largest team fine in league history. The defending Super Bowl champions will also lose the 2016 first round pick and a fourth round pick in 2017. Brady, however, will be able to participate in offseason activities and training camps. Meanwhile, two Patriot employees reportedly involved in deflating those footballs were suspended indefinitely without pay by the team last week. Brady, however, will file an appeal. Now, Brady's agent, Don Yee, released a statement saying, quote, the NFL has a well-documented history of making poor disciplinary decisions that often are overturned when truly independent and neutral judges or arbitrators preside. And a former federal judge has found the commissioner has abused his discretion in the past. So this outcome does not surprise me, end of quote. 
Now to the NBA playoffs, where last night the Clippers took a commanding three games to one lead in the best of seven series over the Houston Rockets. The series now goes to Houston for game five tomorrow, where the Clippers can close out the series and advance to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in franchise history. It's not like a thing where we're like, oh, wow, we did this and, you know, it's Clippers history. Like, we don't, that's not, it's not really our thing. It's an accomplishment, but um, it's not, it's not our final, final place where we want to be. So, um, you know, we need to take care of business and, and do what we have to do, but, you know, we can't rest on that. As far as hockey is concerned, the Ducks finished off the Calgary Flames last night, winning 3-2 to two in overtime to take that series four games to one. They will now take on the Chicago Blackhawks in the Western Conference Finals. I don't want to disrespect us, and I don't want to over-respect them. They're good, too, but, you know, I mean, we played them three times this year and three times last year, and, um, you know, we know, I think, a little bit what to expect. And, of course, we'll have the Dodger highlights for you tonight at 11 o'clock. And that's a look at sports for the 6 o'clock hour, Pat and Paul. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up on CBS 2 News at 6, what some local students did that inspired a group of sheriff's deputies to say thank you. CBS 2 News is sponsored by Southern California Edison. Southern California Edison wants to help you and your family stay safe around electricity. Always stay at least 10 feet away from power lines. Stay aware, stay safe. At my largest, I weighed 258. Even if I lost weight, the weight wouldn't stay off. West Medical changed my life. My doctors were excellent. I got my surgery about six months ago and I've currently lost about 100 pounds. Think about it, 100 pounds. Now I can wear heels and look sexy. I love it. I even get attention from men my daughter's age. My name is Jamie, and I'm a West Medical success story. Call 1-800-WESTMED now for your free consultation. 1-800-WESTMED. It's Sammy's Camera No Tax Mother's Day Sale. Save 300 on Canon's T5 18 megapixel digital camera, plus Canon's 75 to 300 zoom lens, free bag, photo book, and class. Now only 449 plus no tax at Sammy's Camera. This is amazing. I love this car. Real people are discovering surprising things at Chevy. This is a road trip car. We're sold. It's so pretty. <laughs> They're good looking cars. It feels great. Perfect. This is not what I would expect from a Chevy at all. Get more than you expect for less than you imagined at the Chevy Memorial Day sale going on now. Get cash back for 15% of the MSRP on select 2015 models in stock the longest. That's over $3,100 on the Chevy Cruze. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The economy's improving, so experts believe the Fed will start raising interest rates soon. You should refi your mortgage now at today's low rates. You can even pull out cash, all with no closing costs. Act now and beat the Fed to the punch. Make the cash call at 877-890-CASH. Next AT, Sissy Houston. It's all about God. Her first in-depth interview about Bobby Christina. Then, before The Bachelorette, we're with the original reality stars. I thought my show was kind of rigged, like they had the girl all picked out. Next, BT. Tonight at 730 on CBS2. Some San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies spent the morning thanking students at Canyon Hills or Canyon Junior High in Chino Hills for sending them letters of appreciation. A few weeks ago, the class wrote anonymous letters to the deputies to thank them for their sacrifice. Yeah, their teacher said recent events in the news inspired the students to write those letters. The deputies were able to figure out who sent the cards and guess what? They went to their class to express their gratitude. It worked out well all the way around. That was a really good show and tell. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for watching CBS 2 News at 6. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. Yeah, your next local news is just ahead on KCAL 9 at 8. The CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley is next. Breaking news, the New England Patriots and star quarterback Tom Brady are hit with penalties for cheating on the way to the Super Bowl. 
also tonight. There goes the school. Deadly tornadoes strike the heart of America, mowing down everything in their path. Defective GM ignition switches are now blamed for at least 100 deaths. And the First Lady's candid reflections on life in the spotlight. Cable news charmingly referred, referred to me as Obama's baby mama. This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. This is our Western edition. Late today, the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots and quarterback Tom Brady learned the price they will pay for cheating. The NFL announced it is suspending Brady for four games for using under-inflated footballs in the AFC Championship. The Patriots will be fined $1 million and lose their first-round pick in the NFL draft next year and their fourth-round choice in 2017. Elaine Quijano has more on this breaking story. Elaine? Scott, the NFL cited two factors in its decision, violation of the playing rules and a failure to cooperate in the subsequent investigation. The suspension of Brady is without pay for the first four games of the 2015 season. In a letter to the quarterback, NFL executive Troy Vincent told the four-time Super Bowl champion, the report established that there is substantial and credible evidence to conclude you were at least generally aware of the actions of the Patriots.